Hey, what is up everybody? How's it going? Welcome to the Ecom Hunt YouTube channel. My name is Sherban and in this video I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the top 5 myths that you probably fell for in 2019. You know what I'm talking about. Myths are all over the place. There are a lot of people that have different ideas and different conceptions about the same thing. Right? How can that be possible? Well, this is how uh, bad information gets delivered all over the place. Uh, just when you start the dropshipping journey, you will notice that everybody has a different opinion about the same subject basically. How can that be possible? How can two people have two different opinions about uh, the same thing? Well, the answer is really simple. Uh, it all depends on personal and subjective experience. So if somebody has a bad experience about something, some issue of dropshipping, it doesn't matter if they didn't work correctly, if they made mistakes, they don't care about that. They will just tell everybody that dropshipping sucks, dropshipping is not good, don't do it. And that is a myth, right? That's, that's the first myth. Uh, these gurus and experts all over the place will give you wrong information, so the best way to be correctly informed in, in, in the dropshipping business, in the e-commerce business overall, is to check from multiple sources, from good sources, not from dodgy gurus and experts, and above all, like the most valuable of everything, it's to experience on your own skin with your own money, have your own experiences, because that is the like the highest level of uh, getting true and valid information. Nothing is worth more than that. Let's get started with the myth number one. You cannot launch a conversion campaign without pixel data. You remember this red little dot that you see? Like this is, I think this is the first thing that you see uh, when you're trying to launch a, uh, a, a Facebook ad and your ad account is fresh, your pixel is fresh, right? It says your ad may not be optimized for conversions because we haven't received any activity from the conversion you selected at all uh, in more than 14 days, right? This is like the first thing that you encounter. When you, when you wanna create an ad with a fresh account, basically Facebook is telling you that, hey, your pixel is brand new. You might not see uh, what you wanna see because your pixel is new you don't have any background, your pixel doesn't quite know what it's doing, that's kind of false. Why? Well, because this is a default message that Facebook is giving every new ad account, every fresh pixel account, and you will see this. If you have a fresh uh, pixel, you will 100% see this the first time you're making an ad, right? So uh, this is just like the case when uh, uh, young people want to get employed and the employer tells them you need experience to work here but alright in the first place uh, you need a job to get experience and after that you need experience to get a job so it's like a never-ending circle uh, don't trust this uh, go ahead and launch the ad set because that has nothing to do with the performance of your ad set with the future performance that is just a default message that Facebook gives all of the fresh pixel accounts and fresh ad accounts don't get scared just click on next uh, customize your ad and launch it because you will do just fine let's move on to number two targeting small audiences does not work another wild encounter myth is that if you're targeting small audiences like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 60,000 people you will not see any results this is wrong on so many levels because small audiences have a huge potential. Well, first of all, uh, they can have even more value than a uh, normal audience, mainly because a smaller audience, it's, it's uh, a way more narrowed down audience than a big one. So you're basically narrowing the interest down until the audience gets smaller it means that uh, the interests of, of the people and that audience uh, will be way closer than what you're looking for. So if you're only targeting somebody uh, that appreciates basketball, you will have 10 million people. If you narrow it down uh, to people that like Kobe Bryant, if you narrow it down to people that like LeBron James or Spalding or I don't know, 
you will get a more narrowed down audience, a more valuable one. And the more value it gets, uh, the more valuable your audience gets, the smaller the audience size will be, right? So uh, thinking that by targeting a smaller audience, you will not see any results. It's, it's, it's a widespread myth. It's not good. And I highly recommend you to use smaller audiences, especially in, uh, in smaller niche stores, because you will see amazing results. And second of all, you have uh, retargeting, which is an amazing uh, tool that will uh, make audiences out of people that have interacted with your store. So when you're getting started out, if you're using retargeting audiences, you will see a small audience because a small number of people have interacted with your store. But that small audience has a huge potential, right? It's, it's an amazing potential and it's way better than any kind of uh, interest audience out there. Let's move on to uh, myth number three. You cannot get sales with a free theme. As Mr. Donald Trump would say, that's fake news. Uh, on the contrary, I specifically, specifically recommend you to use a free theme when you're getting started, right? Dropshipping is one of those businesses that people start because they have a small budget. You don't have stock, you don't have employees, you don't have anything, so you don't have to worry about expenses, right? You don't own the product, you will only uh, get the money to the, to the AliExpress seller to send the product to your customer. You don't spend any money. You only give them that money after your customer gives you the money. And basically, you don't have uh, much costs. You only have to focus on marketing, basically. Right, so here comes the, uh, the theme part. A lot of people will tell you that you will need a premium theme, a paid theme. And you gotta know that pay paid themes start at like $150, $200, and they go up to like $500, $600. They are not cheap, right? If you're starting drop shipping to, to save some money and to not get involved in huge spendings, you gotta uh, consider this, right? Having a uh, free theme is just as good as having a paid theme when you're getting started out. Of course, you can buy a paid theme. That, that is more customizable. Uh, you can do a lot of things with it. That is a good thing. I'm not saying it's not a good thing, but when you're getting started out, uh, you should save that money because $200 is a lot of money and you can save it and invest it in maybe ads, research, marketing, retargeting, etc. There are countless of other better ways to use those $200 than to use it for a team. And of course, after you're being profitable, after uh, money comes on a regular basis, you can think about a paid theme because uh, it will improve some things, but it's not gonna make a difference when you're getting started out. And I highly recommend you to use a free theme when you're getting started out and save that money. Let's move on to point number four. Have lots of products before uh, getting traffic to your store. Um, having lots of products on your store can be a plus, of course. You know that if you visit a store, you appreciate if you see that they have uh, hundreds of products. Uh, I don't know, a lot of products. You, you see, you like the fact that you have where to choose from. You have a big palette of products and you kind of gain trust in that brand. But on the other side, if you don't have many products on your store, nobody would say anything. Uh, mainly because the main reason why I'm saying this is that when you're advertising uh, products, you're basically advertising a link, a landing page, a product page. So when people will see the ad, they like the ad, they say, oh, this product is nice, let's click the ad. And they will click the ad, it will take them to your product page. So if they like the product, they will buy. If they don't like it, they will get out of your store. And there's a middle way, there are a few people that will check out other products and they will check out your uh, homepage, your collections, your other products, and they th there's a chance that they will shop, of course. Here comes the part when it's uh, it wouldn't hurt to have three to five, six, maybe 10 products, but it's not like uh, this is gonna mess with your conversion rate. It's not going to kill you if you only have uh, three products and somebody will see this. There's a really, really, really small percentage of people that if they see 
a uh, small number of products, they will exit the store because that's not an indicative that, indicative that your uh, store is bad, right? Uh, if they like the product that you're selling, good, they will buy it. If they don't, they will leave, right? So just to be clear and to be on the middle to, to not offend anybody, I would recommend you to have a small number of products, something comfortable like between, I don't know, five and 10 products. That's totally fine. If you see that it's working, you can always add more products that it doesn't cost you any money, right? But having lots of products does not mean that you will uh, get more sales. Get this in the back of your mind. And uh, here we are. Let's talk about the last one, the last myth. I saved it for the last because it's uh, one of the best myths you will ever hear. Low budgets for ads don't work anymore. I mean, how many times have you heard, hey bro, if you're having a low budget, you will not do anything. You, you cannot make any money with low budgets. That's, that's false. Delete that out of, your, out of your mind because this is one of the most widespread myths. Everybody's saying this. But this is one of the, like, you cannot find anything uh, that's uh, more wrong than this. Um, why am I saying this? Um, this is a way to find out if your ads are working correctly, if you're good at ads, right? So if you have a budget of $5, you don't specifically need to see sales in the first day, in the first hour, you just gotta see some good numbers. So if you see a good cost per uh, mill, if you see a good cost per click, a good relevance score, a good click-through rate, it means that your ad is good. And you can do this with $5, you can do this with $100, it doesn't matter. So if, you have a, if you're having good results with $5 per day, I assure you that you can have the same results with $50 per day, $100, $500 per day. You don't wanna do it other way around. You don't wanna have a bad ad set and start with $100 a day because some uh, expert or some guru told you that small budgets do not work anymore, right? You don't wanna start with $100 a day with a bad ad set, right? Because if that is bad, it will spend $100 in vain and you will lose $100, right? If your ad is bad and you started with $5, you will lose $5 and you will see what you did wrong, right? I, I didn't uh, use the right colors. I didn't use the right targeting, the right interest. I didn't use the right ads, the, the right ad creatives, so on and so forth. So if you're noticing that, you will only lose $5 and try again tomorrow until you, uh, you fine tune your ad until you find something that works for you. That's pretty easy, right? And when it's stable and it brings you constant results, you can raise the budget and I don't know, the sky's the limit. But don't do it otherwise. Don't start with big budgets because there are countless things that can go wrong and uh, this being said, I highly recommend you to start with small budgets, $5, 6 $7 per day per ad set because this is the best way to start a dropshipping business. We have talked about this on the theme part because uh, we started a dropshipping business in order to uh, be economical and to not spend a lot of money, right? And this, uh, if we're talking about the ads, the same thing comes in place. You don't wanna spend a lot of money when, you, when you're getting started out. You wanna make sure that the ads that you're running are profitable with low budgets before increasing the budgets. This video was brought to you by Ecom Hunt. You have a link in the description, make sure to check it out. It's amazing, you will not regret it. For those of you who don't know what Ecom Hunt is, shame on you. I am kidding. Uh, Ecom Hunt is the best platform when it comes to finding dropshipping products to sell on the global market. Well, how does it work? We have a wonderful team that's doing research 24-7, that's doing market research to give you the best products to sell. The products that are making the biggest waves on the market now, in this moment. Let's take a look. These are the products. We are uploading two to three new winning products every day. Let's check this product, this Crystal Shark wine glass. You just gotta click on the green button. It will show you pictures of the product. You will have a button where you can import it straight to your Shopify store. You will have an amazing uh, description. 
you will see for how much can you get this product from the AliExpress suppliers. You will see for how much can you sell the product, like what's this medium selling price on the market. You will have a saturation inspector where, where you can see how many stores are selling this product at this moment. Uh, you will see how uh, what engagement does this product have. You will see some analytics, some links where you can find the product in different sources, AliExpress, Alibaba, Amazon, eBay. Uh, you have a link where you can see another store that's selling this item. You will have a link to a Facebook ad that's selling this product. Let's check, for example, AliExpress. You got to click on AliExpress. It will take you to the seller that sells this specific product on AliExpress and you can import it to your store straight from here. They have a lot of models. Uh, you will have YouTube videos of this product. You will have uh, targeting examples right here. You will have interesting exa interest examples like what interest should you target. You will see a lot of useful information such as what Instagram influencers can you contact to sell this product for you? And uh, what reviews does the product have? More products just like this one. So on and so forth. Ecom Hunt, it's an amazing tool. It helps a lot of people every day to sell new products in a dropshipping way. And it, it's, it's an amazing tool. I really, really want you to check this out. You have a link in the description. Make sure to check it out. You will not regret it. e command will help your business a lot. You will spend a lot of money and a lot of time uh, finding these products to sell and you will test a lot of products. With e command that it's not the case because we have a team of people that's doing that 24 seven. We're searching for the products that are making waves and we're doing all the work for you basically. So you will have the time and money to keep for yourself and to use it in other ways. Thank you for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button and uh, like this video if you want to see uh, more videos just like this one. Thank you again for watching. See you next week.